Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the live baits that we use here at our kids club meetings at Lake Lake. And these baits will work at any lake here in Southern California, you catch bluegill, probably around the country too. So one of the worms that we like to use is called a mealworm. And this is what they look like. This is a different type of worm and they work out really nice for catching bluegill. We catch catfish on these too and just a variety of different worms here. Another worm that we use is uh, the red worm. This is like what you would find in your garden at home. These ones are kind of small. This is what they look like. And those are red worms. And they live in the ground. And again, you can find these probably in your local garden at your house. Just dig around a little bit and they work out fine for the bluegill. Another worm is a much bigger worm. It's called a night crawler. Uh, we use them for largemouth bass fishing too. And rainbow trout love them. Much bigger worm. For the bluegill, you have to cut these in little tiny pieces because they're just too big for them to eat. They'll just pick at them. And this is what they look like in the containers. But it's a really nice worm to use for rainbow trout, catfish, and bass. But for right now, for bluegill fishing, um, you have to cut them down really small, small pieces. And then this is a worm that we've kind of stumbled into recently, the wax worm. It doesn't really look like a worm. It looks like a little white marshmallow just about. But um, they work really, really good. Let me find one for you here. There's one. And this is what they look like. It's like a little larva. See how it crawls around there. And for the bluegill, these are deadly. They work really, really well. You can find them at pet supply stores. Some bait stores have them. And that's just a selection of the worms that we use here. Um, all these worms will catch bluegill. The only one is with the night crawler. You can only use a little tiny piece because uh, they're so big that the fish will just pick at them and they'll never bite them, never swallow them. But the smaller worms, like the mealworms, the red worms, and the wax worm, they'll actually engulf them, and you can set the hook on them. And it's fun for the kids. They never ever caught a fish before. Um, they can catch a lot of fish just using these baits. Um, as far as hooks, what you want to use is a must-add bait holder hook. Very important to use a bait holder hook when you're using worms, because you need those little barbs on the hook to hold on to the worm to keep the worm on the hook. If you just use a hook with no barbs on there, like a live bait hook, the fish are just gonna pull at it and pull the worm right off. So you have to use a bait holder hook. Must add bait holder hook is great. You can get them snailed already tied up for you and just put them on a swivel or just tie them on yourself. And that's the basic gear here for catching bluegill at your local community lake. And uh, for more information about how to get started in fishing, please go to our website for our youth foundation at danskids.org and subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, I'll talk to you real soon.